Okay, here's my helper, Dylan. We're getting ready for our camping trip, and we have one canoe up there, but we have enough canoeists this trip that we need two canoes. So our mission today, we are building a ca double canoe rack for the truck, and here's videographer Dylan to tell you a little bit more about it. First of all, we have to get, I have to get back, back up in the truck and show you how it works. Okay, well, let's go. That's pretty tricky getting up there, eh? Yeah. Okay. So these are called muffler clamps, and they help support this so it, so it doesn't fall off of the other rack under here. And, well, you, you can see there's two, because we, if we had one rack, that one would the canoes would fall off, so that's why we need two, because the canoes are long. Okay, so we're going to put two canoes up here today, are we? Yep. Okay, good. Let's go. Well, as you can see, we got all our camping gear, canoe tripping equipment here. we got it all stacked. we just got to remove a few items off this second canoe. It's an Upper Canada, and 16-foot uh, Upper Canada, and we're going to put it on the roof. So that's our mission, to get it from here to there. Okay, to get this one out, it's not as easy as the big one where you just get on the top one, I should say. This is, and actually this one's a little heavier. What I gotta do is try and pull it out. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're gonna be, um, I'm gonna tell him to stop when he's getting close. So, okay, good, go, perfect. So, as you can see, he's trying to, he's trying to do what we just did with this canoe, put it on the roof racks. So, that's the canoe. So, he's doing, as you can see, Papa's getting the canoe on the truck. So, yeah, yep. Look at that. Wow. Look at him go. Okay. Perfect. And there it is. Okay, right now we're lucky to have with us a native uh, canoeist and also a videographer. Uh, very famous now on the internet with his own uh, video blog. I'd like to welcome you to Dylan. Please welcome Dylan, the videographer and uh, expert canoeist. Dylan, could you please explain what uh, is in the process right now for the next operation of this procedure? What yep. we have to do to the roof rack now? So the first thing we have to do is we're going to cut some of this off right, uh -huh. right here and we're going to, I'm going to mark it with this and then we're going to, with the piece, we're going to screw it on so it's like this. Oh yeah, okay. So the canoe doesn't come off. So it acts as a guide too, so when we want to put them up, we know exactly where the canoes go, both yeah. of them. Uh, are you going to do that on both sides? Yeah. Yeah? That's an excellent idea. Well. Let's get marking. Yep. As you can see, I'm marking. I'm marking it. So that's where we're gonna cut it, right here. So I'm marking it there, so we don't know. So we don't lose where we're gonna cut it. Okay. Okay. So what? Do, then we, we. We. I guess we've got to better take the canoes off to uh, cut it. Then, eh? Well. Be a good idea. Maybe. Uh, we don't want to put a hole in these canoes, so how about you and I taking these canoes down and then we'll get that saw out and we'll start cutting. Okay, as you can see, Papa's going to cut it. So, let's get started. As you can see, we've got one side cut off. We just gotta cut the other side off and then we'll have a double loose track. 
And that, what does that mean, double roof rack? It means that we can fit two canoes or... I don't know, if you don't want canoes, you can maybe put bikes up there. And tell the viewing audience uh, also, uh, Dylan, two canoes. Would one of them be yours? Yeah. You have your own canoe? Yep, yeah, me and my brother, wherever he went. Yeah, what size is it? Uh, I don't know. 16. 16 feet, I think. Yeah, that's right. It's an Upper Canada 16-footer, your own canoe. Very good, Dylan. Well, thank you. You're welcome.